from Penn Trafford. This is Wake Up Warriors. Wake Up Warriors starts now. Hello and welcome to this edition of Wake Up Warriors. Today is Friday, May 8th. I'm Rio. And I'm Maddie. All in-person events have been affected by the COVID-19 pandemic and graduation ceremonies are no exception. This has forced schools to find creative ways to celebrate while keeping everyone safe. Jordan Sapp explored how schools in our area are holding their graduation ceremonies. This is how the University of Pittsburgh's Class of 2020 began their graduation. The ceremony had all of the classic elements, like speeches and music, but held entirely online. This occurred on April 26th and is one of the first examples of what graduations will look like this year. To start, one of our neighboring districts, Hemfield High School, is holding a similar graduation to Pitts. They too are celebrating completely virtually, with each student featured on a personalized slide. Smaller high schools are taking a different approach, such as Burrell High School holding their graduation at a drive-in movie theater. And Jeanette High School will be hosting a drive through graduation, where a student and their family can pass by the school in a car to receive their diploma. So with all of these options, what is our school doing? Graduation has been delayed to June 26th due to the social distancing guidelines still in effect. At this time, our district is hoping to hold a normal ceremony if it is safe to do so within that time period. It should be noted that Norwin High School has a near-identical plan. And as an additional way to celebrate, there will be a senior parade on May 21st, graduation's original date, where seniors can ride in their decorated cars to see teachers and spectators cheering for them around the parade route. Hopefully I'll see you at the parade. Signing off, this has been Jordan Sapp. Like all other events, John Noble's yearly Night of the Stars was postponed. This event was held for most high schools in Westmoreland County to come together and perform 12 minutes of their musical from that year. Maddie Kerrigan talked to two high school seniors about their thoughts on the event. Like many other events, John Noble's 24th annual Night of the Stars had to be postponed. I asked two students in Westmoreland County their thoughts about this special event. My favorite part about Night of the Stars was the fact that you get to see every school and what they're capable of and the different amazing performances they put on. It was such like a nice feeling to have like all these schools come together and it's not a competition, no one's winning any awards, it's just all of us coming together and showing what our drama departments can do and it's just such a fun little like week of rehearsing and then performing and then coming the next night and seeing all the other schools and what they have to offer. John Noble, who organizes Night of the Stars, he's such a presence within the community, in, in the theater community within Westmoreland County, that you know even if you don't see him or if you don't get to perform at Night of the Stars, he's always going to be there and he's always going to be supporting theater. I talked to Hemfield senior Grace Rusnicka about her role at the Night of the Stars event. I'm Grace Rusnicka. I'm a senior at Hemfield Area High School and I'm also a student of Stage Right School for the Performing Arts and I have been for the past nine years. And if you don't know, the Stage Right students are responsible for helping backstage at Night of the Stars and it's always one of our favorite traditions. We're in charge of everything that goes on backstage pretty much and we do mics and make sure everybody's in the right place and make sure schools know when they're going to perform and it's definitely a hard job sometimes but it is so rewarding and so fun. This year I was lucky enough to be chosen as the Esther Kosovar scholarship is given to one high school senior in the area um, that's pursuing musical theater and I was lucky enough to be chosen this year. It's amazing to be on stage in front of all of these kids that you know, love the same thing as you, and you know that everybody's supporting you. All the schools support each other, and I think it is the most special thing in the entire world. The amount of love and community that exists between people's casts, but between the different casts throughout the area, and just how we're all in a bond by this similar thing of theater. As the class of 2020 takes their final bow, reporting one last time for PTTV, this has been Maddie Kerrigan. With the coronavirus pandemic, a lot of frontline medical workers have been working extended hours while trying to manage with limited medical supplies. We sent Logan Casper to find more about how medical workers are bracing through this crisis. With the COVID-19 outbreak, I decided to speak to my mother who works in the VA hospital in Pittsburgh about her experiences currently with the COVID-19 outbreak and how the hospital is dealing with it. 
My name is Heather Casper. I'm a nurse manager at the Veteran Affairs Healthcare System of Pittsburgh. On arrival to the VA hospital, you will be stopped by a police officer and asked the following. Have you been exposed to anybody with COVID-19? Do you have a sore throat, a worsening or productive cough? Uh, once you are allowed into the facility, you will then be stopped by our screening crew. The screening crew will then take your temperature on arrival, again ask you if you have any signs or symptoms of COVID-19, and then be offered a mask for admittance into the hospital. Uh, I will say that no visitors at this time are allowed into the VA Pittsburgh healthcare system. Uh, you must have a reason for your visit uh, in regards to maybe an appointment or a surgical procedure that needs done or a life-threatening emergency. The VA Pittsburgh healthcare system, because it's a federal agency, actually does have uh, appropriate levels of PPE, which is protective uh, equipment for our nurses. I will say that we still are trying to ration a little bit in um, preservance for a possible surge. So once a week, the nurses are given a new mask and unless the mask has been soiled or visibly uh, torn or weathered, then you can receive another mask. Reporting from PTTV, this has been Logan Casper. Thank you for watching this edition of Wake Up Warriors. And thank you to all of the teachers at Penn Trafford for continuing to teach and support the Penn Trafford community throughout this pandemic. Yes, it is Teacher Appreciation Week, and we are so thankful for all of the efforts done by teachers and staff to make the end of the year as smooth as possible. Coming from two seniors, we definitely appreciate our experience at PT from kindergarten up to now. Thank you, teachers and staff, for everything you have done to make our time at PT great. Now enjoy a video celebrating Teacher Appreciation Week. So in honor of Teacher Appreciation Week, I just wanted to say thank you to all of my teachers, past and present. Um, especially Mrs. Bukic, thank you so much for all that you do for all of your students. Thank you, Mr. Carlisle, for doing everything you could to get us ready for the AP exam this year, especially with the online school during quarantine. I really appreciate it, and I feel prepared for the AP exam. A teacher that has made a difference in my life is Mr. Mostolsky. He teaches literature and language arts at Penn Middle School, and he definitely inspired my love for writing. He also taught me so many life lessons throughout his class, and he always wanted his students to be good and kind people. I want to say thank you to Mr. Rosiniak for all the hard work that he's put into all of his classes, journalism, creative writing, English. He is such a constant motivator of mine, and to continually have faith in our class and what we do really makes me want to succeed that much more. And I'd like to thank all my former and current teachers. I'd like to thank Mr. Grunias, Mr. Carlisle, um, Senora Alba, Mr. Lonegro, um, Ms. Brueggemann, and Mr. Rieger. Thank you. So I wanted to thank Ms. Ruoff, Ms. Rumba, Mr. Fox, and Mr. Cornelius for all allowing me to express myself through music. I also wanted to thank Mr. Vinton and Ms. Haberberger for basically taking a chance on me and allowing me to be a part of the video class and art extensions class the last two years. Those two classes were always the best part of my day and I looked forward to it all the time. One teacher I'll always remember as being very influential in my young life is Mrs. Detour, my first grade teacher at Sunrise Elementary. She was always so giving and allowing us to indulge in any little interest we had and she always bolstered creativity among the students. I want to thank Mr. Vinton for teaching me everything that I know about video for the past four years. Going to video class has been my favorite part of high school and I'm really going to miss being in the control room and directing and creating content for the show. But with what Mr. Vinton taught me, I'm going to continue on this path into college. So thank you for that.